So, Cody Rhodes, you stand by what you've said. You truly believe the WWE doesn't hold people back. Never mind all the things you said just a couple of years ago that flat out alluded to such a thing. Never mind the fact that in response to me, you said that Vince didn't see world champion you, so it wasn't going to happen. I don't know what the hell else that would mean other than you're being held back. Never mind the fact that there are all these countless instances time after time after time of people that have worked for WWE that have said the exact same things that I am saying. And if we want to use the wrestler logic, when you hear somebody like a Chris Jericho or an Edge talking about guys getting undercut, guys getting buried, if we want to go off of the hierarchy of wrestling, I most certainly am going to believe a Chris Jericho or an Edge or a CM Punk over somebody like a Cody Rhodes. Because in the grand scheme of things, when it comes to WWE, what the hell did he ever do? Especially compared to those guys. And it seems ridiculous I even have to say it because last time I checked, I was never a basher of Cody Rhodes. I was kind of a fan of his. But it just shows you how butthurt and emotional and insecure and overly sensitive these wrestlers are. So stop fanboying for them. Especially the ones like Cody Rhodes that don't deserve it. And as we found out over the past few days, in a variety of ways, Cody Rhodes knows he's full of crap and he doesn't care. He's a liar. He's been proven to be a liar. And he doesn't apologize for it. That's the type of guy you look up to if you choose to support a Cody Rhodes. But, but, moving on from that. So Cody Rhodes, the WWE doesn't hold people back. They don't sabotage them. They don't undercut them. They don't bury them. Then what the hell do you call what's going on with Ty Dillinger? And I, I saw this today and people tweeted it at me and so forth. And I'm going to read the quote attributed to Dave Meltzer. You know, Dave Meltzer, the one who's really buddy, buddy with the Bullet Club. But even when asked on his own show this week about what he thought about our interaction, he agreed with me, like Dave Meltzer has no reason to agree with me. He is such a cuck for the Bullet Club, you would automatically think that he would side with you guys no matter what. But what you said was so ridiculous, so idiotic, and such flat out falsehood, that even Meltzer couldn't agree with you. That's sad. Here is what Dave Meltzer, Cody's boy, had to say about what's going on with Ty Dillinger, who, if you've noticed, hasn't been on TV lately. They've been squashing him, all these different things. Dillinger is just a guy on the brand that works prelims, and they put him at number 10 in the Rumble, and it makes for a cute minute for people to chant 10, which they don't even want people to chant anyway. That's why they keep him off the TV so much, because they don't want people chanting 10. So... The whole thing is completely stupid. Now, 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 let's back up for a second. Here is what Dave Meltzer is saying. Dave Meltzer is saying, no matter how many fans chant it at each event, no matter how much the fans might like a Ty Dillinger, the WWE does not want them to like Ty Dillinger. The WWE does not want them to chant for Ty Dillinger. They do not want that 10 chant. And as a result, they will take him off TV to sabotage and undercut and hold back any momentum he might have as a character. If that's not holding somebody back, then what the hell is? You have to be really stupid, delusional, or pathological in the level of your lying to continue to dig in and insist that the WWE doesn't sabotage or hold back people. They are taking a guy off of television, and you could sit there and counter with the whole it's Meltzer crap and blah, blah, blah. Then what other justification do you have, specifically if the dude's not hurt? Also knowing this company's history over the years, this sounds just like something WWE would do. This sounds exactly like something Vince McMahon would do. 
The history is there. The evidence is overwhelming. Cody Rhodes, if the WWE doesn't hold people back, then why isn't Ty Dillinger allowed to be on television? Why don't they emphasize the fact that he's getting a reaction? And look, I'm no Dillinger fan. I don't see what the big deal is. I view him as an undercard guy. I view him as an underneath guy, a jobber. But he could be a jobber that people actually like. And for a company like WWE, where one of their biggest revenue streams is merch sales, if a guy like Dillinger moves merch, why in the hell would you take him off of television and potentially cost yourself money? It's very simple. I'm right, you're wrong, you blubbering bitch. The WWE holds people back if they don't meet their vision, their master plan. All this talk about taking chances is crap. Guys could take three million chances, but if Vince doesn't see it, and Vince doesn't want it, and Vince doesn't believe in it, and Vince doesn't buy in it, then it's not happening, no matter what. It's not happening. And I don't know what it's going to take to get it through your Bullet Club bitch skull. The simple fact of the matter is, the WWE is doing with Ty Dillinger what they've done with Zack Ryder, what they've done with so many other guys over the years, Damian Sandow, guys like Wade Barrett, even when he was world champ, CM Punk, he's playing supporting cast to freaking People Power versus Cena. And I've provided so many other examples throughout this week. If, if the WWE doesn't hold people back, then why would they yank a guy off of television who gets a reaction? Why would they yank a guy off of television who people seem to get behind at live events? No, he doesn't have world champion potential. No, I don't view him as a big star. No, I don't even particularly care for the talent or the character. But I also can see and hear. And I also know at this point in time, with as pathetic as the WWE can be, if you can get somebody that gets some type of reaction and potentially moves some merch, and I have no doubt that some hardcore fans love Ty Dillinger, love the 10 gimmick, and fork over money to buy one of his damn shirts. Why in the hell else would WWE yank him off of television with absolutely no report of injury, with absolutely no report of backstage heat, with no reports of a failed drug test, a steroids test, none of that. The simple reason being is that I'm right, you're wrong again, and this is just another validation of how true this really is. Now, I know somebody like a Cody Rhodes will sit there and try to rationalize it in his own mind, and I really wonder if he even believes what the hell he's saying. Because how could you? Like the whole logic of, I worked there, you didn't, just makes what Cody Rhodes has said look even more idiotic. You worked there. You know. And you damn sure should know better than any of us. And the real truth is, even though you want to lie to us and even worse, lie to yourself, is you know I'm right. You know the WWE holds people back. There's a reason Ty Dillinger's not on TV. It's because they don't fucking want him to get over. How the hell is that not sabotaging? How the hell is that not holding somebody back? And you see this so often with the WWE. When somebody starts to get a little bit of traction, starts to get a little bit of momentum in their character, all of a sudden a report comes out that Vince isn't all that high on them, and they start putting the screws to him, they start jobbing him out, and they start making him irrelevant and putting him in crappy storylines, or even worse, not even featuring him on television at all. And that's what they're doing with Ty Dillinger. Your boy Meltzer is talking about how stupid this is. Your boy Meltzer is flat out saying the company is holding him back because they don't want the fans chanting 10. That's how dumb and petty Vince and the WWE can be at times, and you know that. So Cody Rhodes, if the WWE doesn't hold anybody back, how in the fuck do you explain what they're doing with Ty Dillinger? Uh, you can't. Hashtag Schlag Daddy owned your ass. Again.